our people, our leaders invited us and inviting us until today for to make the prayer of uh, uh, peace. We usually prepared ourselves for a very total, for, for a very complete dance. Dance with the wind, with the birds, with the animals, with the fish, with everything all around the world, and especially with the human being from everywhere. As we say, there's no barrier between one and one, between person and person, between any creation this world. All of the people, they are one. As we say in a different, different characters, different shapes, different thinking, different languages, different uh, nationalities, different religions, but it's Everything, it's external, but in the inner side, there's no difference. <clears throat> we are one. And then we invited this time the great uh, leaders from the Holy Land to come to pray for us. I'll begin with Rabbi Tamar Ilad Applebaum is the founder and rabbi of the Zion community in Jerusalem and the co-founder of the Israeli Rabbi Seminary at the Hartman Institute and Ha Midrasha at Oranim. Lots of titles she have. She has. Lots of positions. I know her very well. I heard about her very well. She is a very great leader for to bring the people to be together, to understand one another, and to know one another. It's my pleasure to invite you, Rabbi Tamar, to hold your prayer for us and to light the candles of our hearts. Rabbi Tamar, please. Thank you so much, Sheikh Hassan. It's an honor to be here. And uh, I want to thank each and every one of you who brings the light of his heart and her heart and our hearts together touch the candle of God, of Hashem, of Allah, and feel enlightened by hope. Um, I want to go back to the things that Sheikh Hassan taught us in Hermione too, and saying them from here, from Jerusalem, from Al-Quds. It's incredible that Sheikh Hassan spoke about leaving for just one moment the earth in order to be a bird. When you're a bird, you can see the skies, you can see with compassion all humanity that is so small and the vast universe needs it to be united, to be together so we can create kindness with the one family that we are. And Hermione spoke about our hearts. So I wanted to just bring a little idea from Jewish tradition. Rabbi Nachman of Breslav, he taught that the purpose of prayer is to do one thing, just to send one breath to one person in this universe. That's prayer, to send my breath. And the Jewish book of mysticism teaches that our breath is actually wrapped by lungs which really are a set of two wings within each and every one of us. And so when we send the breath, we also send wings with it. They're strong and gentle wings, and they have the strength to fly across the flood and across hatred and land on someone's bed. It could be in another place. It could be in a hospital, in an old age house, or on the shoulder of any human being on our planet and give them strength from wherever we are and plea for them by flying just a bit further away than where we are right now and reaching God himself through the bird in our heart. And so tonight, I hope that wherever we are in the prayer that I will read now in any language, you will feel from here, from Jerusalem, from Yerushalayim, Ira Kodesh, from the Holy Land and the Holy City of Al-Quds. You will feel the beauty of every heart that has wings and is able to ask for us words of happiness, words of um, strength, words of uh, aspiration to go up high and see us all, each and every one of us from above with compassion. 
And this prayer is a prayer that I wrote together with a very dear friend of mine, with Shechai Ibtisam. We wrote it together for all those people who are brokenhearted and they need a little drop of love, one little drop of healing, one breath from someone else who has wings on his or her heart. God of life, you who heals the brokenhearted, binding up our wounds, please hear this prayer of mothers and fathers, of believers. You did not create us to kill each other, nor to live in fear or rage or hatred in your holy world. You created us so that we allow each other to meet, to encounter, to sustain your name in our world. Your name is life. Your name is love. Your name is peace. With my heart and with my prayers, with all of those of those around me. I raise my hand, I raise my heart. Please God have mercy on us. Hear our voice that we heal, that we never despair, that we witness life with each other, that we have mercy one for another, that we share sorrow one with another, that we hope together for each other. Inscribe our lives and hearts in the book of life, of love. For your sake, our God of life, let us choose life. For you are peace, your world is peace, and all that is yours is peace. May this be your will, and let us say, Amen. Thank you so much. Really, it's a very deep rabbi, Tamar. It's you, really, you lighten our uh, uh, candles, the candles of the eyes, the heart eyes, and you candle our day. Thank you. It's, it's, it's a great prayer and it's very deep prayer. I'm so happy for that. And uh, uh, from uh, Rabbi Tamar, I will move to uh, ask uh, uh, Brother Zirkar in a very short, uh, only half an hour, no, it's a joke, uh, in uh, 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 one, two minutes to say something uh, about the prayer of love. Please, Zirkar. Oh, thank you. Sheikh Hassan for asking me to share. Oh, God of love, you are in each of our hearts. You never stop speaking to us. You never stop inspiring us. I pray, take the, the rust off our hearts. Take the, the, the things that separate us from one another so that we may shine your love to all beings. We may remember that we are one. We are one family. We are immersed. We are always in your loving presence and we can join that presence. We can fill our lives with that presence and we can just simply share our love with every being with whom we come in contact. May we all live in love. May we all remember love. May love pervade and grow in every heart. Thank you. Amen. I mean, amen. Thank you so much, Brother Zirkar. It's a very, very deep. And uh, really, thank you. And from you, I'll, I would like to go to Chris Miller to uh, ask him in, in two minutes to say a deep prayer about the prayer of love. Chris, please. Yeah. Salam Aleikum, Shalom Aleichem, peace with all of you around the world and in your hearts. Maybe we can just take a moment to, to feel love to invite love into 
into our hearts, into our breath, as Rabbi Tamar mentioned as she invoked. And to feel that love as a radiance, as grace, as a gift from the divine, which illuminates and warms and softens the heart and the layers of the heart and shines out from our hearts to all other hearts, recognizing that love in each other's glance, in each other's warmth, in each other's kindness. Amen. 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 Thank you, dear Akbar. Really, it's 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 a very deep. Thank you. And uh, from Akbar, I would like to uh, see if uh, Shukri uh, Marzian is here. Uh, Shukri, if he is not here, we will pass to another uh, uh, speaker. Uh, I I would like to invite um, a very uh, uh, well known uh, person also. Uh, Dr. Nahed Ashkar Sharari is a lecturer and researcher who specializes specialize in Islamic feminism with an emphasis on Palestinian feminism in Israel. She uh, got uh, uh, lots of uh, prizes and uh, lots of uh, degrees. She's one of the great uh, leaders also in our society, and uh, she is very active in, in her work. And it's our pleasure to have her with us and to say, Dr. Nahed, تفضلي طبعا بشرفنا انك تكوني معنا في هذا اللقاء. تفضلي دكتورة Nahed. Hello all. I'm so I'm so grateful to be here with all of you for this uh, love prayer. I will speak. I will speak in Arabic. I'm sorry for that. Uh, so I will start. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, alladhi hadana lihada, wa ma kunna linahtadi laula an hadana, wa ma taufiqi wa latisami wa la tawakkuli illa ala Allah. Wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah. Ikraran birububiyatih. وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسول الله سيد الخلق والبشر اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وعلى ذريته ومن والاه ومن تبعه إلى يوم الدين اللهم ارحمنا فإنك بنا راحم ولا تعذبنا فإنك علينا قادر والطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما واجعلنا ممن يستمعون القول فيتبعون أحسنه وادخلنا برحمتك في عبادك الصالحين الدعاء صلة بين العبد وربه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه كان يدعو ربه فما حقيقة الدعاء قال عليه الصلاة والسلام الدعاء مخ العبادة الدعاء صلة لكنها صلة ملحة الدعاء صلة ولكنها صلة حقيقية الدعاء صلة لأنه بني على حاجة والحاجة من خلق الله وتأمر سبحانه وتعالى دكتور ناهد إذا نعم. بس شوي شوي عشان بترجم أنا ملاحظ آه. عليك بلحك الكلمات فب ب ب يعني خفف مش بسرعة أكثر أوكي يعني أخف شوي تفضلي تفضلي الدعاء صلة لكنها صلة ملحة الدعاء صلة ولكنها صلة حقيقية الدعاء صلة لأنه بني على حاجة والحاجة من خلق الله وكأن الله سبحانه وتعالى خلق هذه الحاجة لتكون هذه الصلة لذلك النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام يقول عن معاذ عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لن ينفع حذر من قدر ولكن الدعاء ينفع مما نزل ومما لم ينزل 
فعليكم بالدعاء عباد الله يجب أن تحتاط للأمور قبل أن تقع هذا من واجبات المؤمن الحذر يا أيها الذين آمنوا خذوا حذركم قال تعالى ما يفتح الله للناس من رحمة فلا ممسك لها وما يمسك فلا مرسل له من بعده وهو العزيز الحكيم إذا دعوت الله اتصلت به إياك أن تقع في هذا الغلق إن أخذ الحذر يقي إن أخذ الاحتياطات تقي مهما بالغت في العناية بصحتك وأنت مأمور بذلك وعليك أن تفعل ذلك لأن صحتك رأس مالك ولكن الله سبحانه وتعالى إذا كانت حكمته في أن يصاب الإنسان بمرض ما فكل هذه الاحتياطات وكل هذه التدابير الوقائية لا تنفع ولكن ما ينفع ولكن ينفع الدعاء لما يا رسول الله ينفع الدعاء وحده ما جواب هذا ما تعليل هذا ما الحكمة من هذا لأنك إذا دعوت الله عز وجل اتصلت به وإذا اتصلت به طهرت نفسك من كل أدرانها وشرف قلبك استبغت بالكمال الإلهي وهذا هو الهدف من خلقك إذا تاهت نفسك إذا غفلت إذا خالفت تستحق العلاج من الله عز وجل هذه النفس التي استحقت العلاج من الله لو أنها أخذت احتياطات مشددة في صحتها وإذا كان الله عز وجل كانت حكمته أن يعالجها عن طريق صحته لا بد أن يصيبها المرض لا ينفع حذر من قدر الدعاء هو النافع ولكن ينفع الدعاء لأن الدعاء صلة والصلة شفاء والصلة دواء والصلة طهر والصلة كمال ما دامت الصلة قد انعقدت فالغاية قد حققت الدعاء جوهر العبادة ادعوا الله عباد الرحمن فالدعاء يا إخوة الإيمان كما قال النبي العدنان الدعاء مخ العبادة فادعوا الله اطلب الخير في دعائك ما قولك الله سبحانه وتعالى في علاه رافع السماوات بغير عمد خالق كل شيء إذا رفعت إليه يديك بالدعاء يتحسس منك أن يردهما خائبتين فاتقوا الله ادعوه في شيء يستجيب لك اطلب الخير يستجيب لك وعسى أن تكرهوا شيئا وهو خير لكم وعسى أن تحبوا شيئا وهو شر لكم والله يعلم وأنتم لا تعلمون قد تظن الخير في المال وهو ليس كذلك والله يعلم وأنتم لا تعلمون اجعل هذه الآية نصب عينيك والله يعلم وأنتم لا تعلمون قل الحمد لله على كل حال كان الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا رأى ما يحب قال الحمد لله الذي بنعمته تتم الصالحات وإذا رأى ما يكره قال الحمد لله على كل حال عجبا لأمر المؤمن إن أمره كله خير وليس ذاك لأحد إلا للمؤمن إن أصابته سراء شكر فكان خيرا له وإن أصابته ضراء صبر فكان خيرا له فاتقوا الله عباد الله فيما تدعون قل اللهم اهدني وارحمني يستجب لك اللهم اغنني بحلالك عن حرامك يستجب لك 
قل اللهم زودني التقوى اللهم اغنني بالعلم وزينني بالحلم واكرمني بالتقوى وجملني بالعافية يستجب لك ذلك فإذا طلبت من الدنيا ما يبدو لك أنه خير ولم يستجب لك فاعلم أنه ليس بخير لا يموتن أحدكم حتى يحسن ظنه بالله تعالى فإن, أحسن فإن حسن الظن بالله تعالى فإن حسن الظن بالله تعالى ثمن الجنة وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الداعي إذا دعاني فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي لعلهم يرشدون في موضوع الدعاء ليس هناك وسيطا بين الله عز وجل والإنسان ولو سألته في نفسك من دون أن تحرك شفتيك فالله سبحانه وتعالى يستمع ويستجب لك أجيب دعوة الداعي إذا دعاني الدعاء المخلص إجابته محققة إذا لا بد من أن تدعوه من كل قلبك لا بد من أن تدعوه وأنت مخلص لا بد أن تدعوه وأنت موقن للإجابة العبرة في الدعاء الاستجابة إلى الدعاء المستجاب الدعاء يجعلك أقوى الناس بالدعاء تبلغ ما تريد بالدعاء تصل إلى ما تريد ينصرك الله على أعدائك إما أن يكيد لك إما أن يكيد عليك اللهم كن لنا ولا تكن علينا بالدعاء تستطيع أن تصل إلى كل شيء وأحب هذا الشيء فلا تستهينوا بالدعاء فهو مخ العبادة كما, كما أنبأ النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أيها الأخوات المؤمنات حاسبوا, حاسبوا أنفسكن قبل أن تحاسبوا وزنوا أعمالكن قبل أن توزن عليكم واعلموا أن ملك الموت قد تخطانا إلى غيرنا وسيتخطى غيرنا إلينا فلن فلنتخذ حذرنا الكيس من دان نفسه وعمل لما بعد الموت إن الله تعالى يحب الملحين في الدعاء اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك اللهم لنا فيما أعطيت واصرف عنا شر ما قضيت فإنك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك اللهم اعطنا ولا تحرمنا وأكرمنا ولا تهنا وآثرنا ولا تؤثر علينا وارضنا وارض عنا آمين شكرا شكرا جزيلا دكتورة thank you so much دكتور ناهد it was really so deep so uh, wide so complete and uh, we thank you so so much and very much inshallah we will continue our path to pray together and uh, to bring the uh, connection and understanding and peace to this world together uh, from here, I would like to ask uh, 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 Michael Macy to give us about two minutes uh, prayer, small prayer, or to say something about the prayer of peace. Michael, it's yours. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, Hassan, thanks very much. I hadn't. I hadn't expected this, so I probably won't take two minutes, but I'll take a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, what I would like to do is just invite everyone to first imagine all the fruits of peace. Be aware that all of the generosity that we receive is the product of peace the food that is raised by the farmers, the buildings that have been constructed to shelter us, the animals who have provided us with the fabric and the plants who have provided us with the fabric for the clothes that we wear, and the earth itself 
for the fuel which pr provides us with the heat and the protection. All of these are the products of peace. And I'd like us to invite all of us to be aware of the incredible power of peace, the creativity, the production, the inspiration, and the creativity that is provided for by peace. And for all of that, I'd like to express our gratitude. And then to end with, I would invite all of us to imagine a world that is at peace on every level, at peace and in harmony with the environment which provides us and from which we spring. Peace within each household, between the members of every family, mm -hmm. peace between the members of all of the members of every community that then spreads out. So there's peace between peoples, between nations, between regions. And so that all of the world is at one and at peace and is grateful for the gifts that that provides. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Michael, it's very deep and really from your mouth to the uh, uh, big ears. Thank you so much. Uh, from here, I would like to invite now one of the uh, great uh, also leaders uh, from the Holy Land. He is uh, uh, Shukri uh, Marzian. He's a pastor from Jerusalem, holds a degree in theology. And uh, uh, he's currently pastor of an ev evangelical church in Ramallah. And he is very active for to bring the people to be together, especially in Eastern Jerusalem and uh, between Ramallah and between Jerusalem and all of these people. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's a very famous because he is the brother of one of the great leaders in this world, Malcolm, our translator. Sh uh, 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 Pastor uh, Shukri, please, it's yours. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I'm so glad to be, I'm so honored to, to be with you. Uh, as you said, I'm Malcon's brother. This is an honor. It's a, um, so uh, I'm going to read some verses from the Bible that talks about love, as I have that it is about love today, which has some definition of what love means. And uh, love is patient, love is kind, it is not envious, love does not brag, it is not puffed up, it is not rude, love is not self-serving, it is not easily angered or resentful, it's not glad about injustice, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never falls and never ends. Uh, as just a short prayer, dua, salir, a God who loves every human being in this world equally, uh, teach us how to love each other the same way you love everyone. Where every human being is precious to you. Make us see this in every human being that he or she is precious. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, uh, Pastor Shukri. I want to say all of you, you have this family, great English. I want to. I want to be, you know, uh, 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 clear. You are so great and intellectual family. Thank you so much for uh, this great prayer and deep prayer. And uh, inshallah, uh, we hope in God's will we will bring the peace and the harmony to this world together. 
together. Right. together. You know, uh, 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 we uh, still uh, uh, speaking. I know that Sheikh Hassan is waiting, but we say that we are keeping uh, uh, the uh, very fat things until the end. I know all of you so fat, all of you so great, but we need, uh, uh, before Sheikh Hassan, I would like to invite my brother and my friend Ted Bronston to say some words uh, uh, in, 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 this, uh, the, in, in the prayer of love in this event. Please, Ted. Well, very kind of you. It's wonderful to see you, Sheikh Hassan, and to be uh, in this community of connection. And I was uh, love that word, you know, connecting the hearts. And this is so important because, as we know, there are many fears in the world. There are many uh, misapprehensions, misideas about the other person, what what their real motives are, you know, and their suspicions and these things. And how do we get beyond uh, these fears? How do we get beyond these ongoing pains and scars that we bear from uh, the fighting that's taken place over so many years and generations? You know, the best way is the, uh, the wonderful way that you and Abrahamic reunion has shown us is to know people, yeah. to have personal contact with people. To see them as human beings, you know, that have a heart, that have eyes, that have a smile, that have tears, that share so much with us uh, personally, you know. And uh, you know me, I wear many hats, spiritual hats, you know, Alhamdulillah is one of my favorite words in all languages. <laughs> you know, it's such a beautiful, such a beautiful uh, alliterative word. But I'd like to share something from the Baha'i writing. Mm -hmm which I could, which uh, is all about peace. And it says that the peace and security of and the well-being of nations is unattainable unless and until its unity is firmly established. Mm -hmm. So and until we see each other as human, until we see, you know, our community of nations and see ourselves as one family, um, you know, all of the negotiation, all the talk and everything, is um, is going to be very difficult, but the first step is unity. So thank you for the opportunity to uh, share that thought and to see your smiling face again this morning. It's always a it's always a pleasure, and um, you know may may God bring peace to not only the planet but to each and every heart. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, and uh, uh, God bless you. Thanks, really, it's very deep. And from here, I'll go to Sheikh Hassan uh, to invite him to give the uh, uh, his prayer, the uh, 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 peace prayer. It will be so great to have you with us, Sheikh Hassan. Faddal, Sheikh Hassan, uh, this is your uh, 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 time. Sheikh Hassan, hope the internet is... Oh, Father Sheikh Hassan. Father. Thank you, my friends. Sheikh Hassan. Yeah. Wazizi Sadiqi Sheikh Hassan. Ehna manqool khitam uhu misk. Allah, hiyak tislam. Habib Kalbi. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Kam yatibu lana ayyuhal ikhwa al-Aizza an na'uda ila tajdeed al-Ahdi wal-Liqa. مجتمعين مجددا في حضرة المحبة المقدسة التي لا تعرف لغة التمييز ولا الخلاف مجتمعين حول حلقة الحوار الصادق البناء الذي يسعى فيه الإنسان الواعي إلى كسر حواجز الأنا وفتح نوافذ القلب إلى مصراعيها أمام الآخرين نحن اليوم نجدد هذا الأمل الساكن فينا جميعا بأن يغدو العالم مكانا يسع الجميع عالم تمتد فيه الأيدي للصلح وينزع منه السلاح والقمع والظلم 
عالم يولد فيه كل فرد ليكون إنسانا حرا من المواجع والآراء المسبقة والتصنيفات والتقييمات ليكون مجرد إنسان بكل ما في هذا الاصطلاح من عمق من المعاني الإنسانية والقيم مضى أسبوع تقريبا على الزلزال المدوي الذي ضرب أراضي تركيا وسوريا وضرب معه القلوب والضمائر مخلفا وراءه ألافا من الصور والمشاهد التي تقشعر لها الأبدان لعائلات كاملة غيبها رتم المأساة وكأنها لم تكن تحت هذا الإنقاذ أحلام وقصص أحاديث أضحى أصحابها بكل أسف أعدادا رسمية تتزايد يوما بعد يوم معلنة عن حجم هذه الكارثة الإنسانية الكبيرة التي يرتج لها العالم هذه الكارثة التي تدعونا للعودة من أجل ترتيب الأولويات من جديد ومدى جسور التعاون والتضامن الإنساني والاجتماعي بين الإنسان, الإنسان وأخيه الإنسان لا زلنا آملين واثقين مؤمنين ولكنها والله أيها الإخوة أيام ثقيلة على ثقيلة الوقع والأثر نحتاج فيها إلى شد الأيادي والسير قدما نحو بناء الغد وقيام جيل واعد صاعد يترجم هذه الدعاوات والآمال أفعالا وقوانين ومشاريع كم نحن بحاجة لوقفة موحدة وصرخة واضحة ننادي فيها إلى الرجوع لمحو ما أحدثته أيادي المعارك والنكبات والخلافات وشق طريق جديد نلتقي في آخره معا في ذات المصير هذا وبعد أن ننظر بعين البصيرة الصادقة إلى ما تفشى به في, تفشى في صفوف المجتمع من ظاهر العنف والظلم والقلاقل وما انتشر بين الناس من إهمال الخير والسعي الحثيث وراء الشجع والطمع وإرضاء الأهواء والأطماع ولكننا وكنا ولا نزال أيها الإخوة مؤمنين بقدرة المجتمع الصالح على الإصلاح والتعديل والتحسين وتقويم معاملة ورسم حدوده من جديد مصوبين أشرعة العالم نحو بر الأمن والأمان وتحطيم جليد التباعد الذي صار عبئا على الأفراد والمجتمعات فتعالوا أيها الإخوة من هنا نرفع لله تعالى كل الأيدي والقلوب داعين أن نكون سببا لرسم البسمة على وجوه الآخرين تعالوا نبتهل معا أن نكون دالين على الخير فاعلين من أجل تثبيته وتأسيسه وتوطيده بكل بسالة وإخلاص مبتهلين إلى الله مولى اللطائف قائلين اللهم يا سامع النداء ومجيب الدعاء نسألك بعد العسر يسرى ورحمة تشفي من القلوب الحسرة اللهم نسألك للمكروبين فرجا وللمظلومين نصرا ومخرجا اللهم اجمع بيننا يا خير جامع وانزل رحمتك على كل سامع اللهم إنا عليك اتكلنا وبجلالك استعنا فكن لنا نبا المعين وارحمنا آمين 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 Thank you so much dear brother Sheikh uh, Hassan Muwaffaq it's, it's great and really you uh, uh, you said uh, the thing that all of us uh, needed to say or wanted to say that uh, we'll pray for all of the people they had uh, tragedies and they had uh, problems all around the world in Turkey, Syria and uh, in Romania we, we heard a little small uh, earthquake they had earthquake, small earthquake but we'll pray for all of these people all around the world because they belong to the same family and they belong to be one 
hand and one heart. Um, um, I I know that this is a very great uh, uh, prayer to all of us, especially in, at this time. Uh, and we usually will pray for everything in this world because everything, everyone, every small thing in this world is part of us. This is the part of our body. We belong to, to the same body. And as the Prophet Muhammad say, and all the prophets say that, uh, uh, you have your body. If you will feel a pain in one part of your body, all of your body will be in pain. And I think we uh, not only feeling, we are tasting the pain of all of this human being. And we need to work for to bridge the gap between all of us. If there's no possibility to bridge the gap, then we'll build the bridges because the other is your bridge toward God. I think uh, uh, we need to do everything that we can to be together. And as uh, Jesus say, what you'll achieve if you lose yourself and you will gain all of the world, nothing you need first of all to achieve yourself to get yourself and after that all of the world we need to review ourselves all the time we need to work with ourselves to clean to clear and to polish the mirror of the heart because this is this is the great mirror this is the mirror that can see the other as a human being i think the world now need to stop every kind of games. We need to be real. What meaning of games? It's not, no, we need to play. To play with the wind, to play together, to play as lovers, to love one another, but not to hide things, not to lose our things for our uh, desires or to try to block the others to close the ways for the people. All of us, we know that each one can do a lot. Don't block that person and you'll block all of her, his uh, uh, energy. No, no, because I, we are very responsible for this world. The world will ask us, what did you did or what did you do for this world? What, what is our answer? We don't know. Our answer, all of us, we are here. Here's our answer. This is our responsibility. Abrahamic reunion teaching us to come to be together and to work together, to pray together, to do everything together. And we are peacemakers. Look at the meaning of peacemaker. We are peacemakers. We need to do the best for to create peace. It's the title. But under that title, many millions of things that we need to do. And the first step, as we say, all of us, to clean the mirror of the heart, to come to be clear and clean, transparent, to work, not to hide, not to hate, to love, to connect, to understand, to know. This is our path. We are in the new year. And we are praying. We know that God listening to us, but the world is going down. Then what to do? We need to come back to ourselves more and more and to do more and more. I'm speaking like this because I was on the field. I practiced these things. Not only me, many here among us did the same. Abrahamic reunion and all of you then Come to be together. Come to knock the doors together. Come to look at the horizon together and to send kisses to all of the world, everywhere, in every corner, in every place. I hope I can to look at the people they needed to give them. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm part of this world, but you and I will be two. You and I and her will be three. You and I and her and them will be four. Then we will be groove. 
and slowly, slowly be all of us all around the world. It's very important to be serious and to believe one another, to love one another, to connect to one with another. As we say, there's no barriers between all of us and this prayer will take us away. The prayer of love. It come to taste, not only to say we prayed by our minds or by our feelings. It's very important to pray by our, by our tasting. And before we'll close, I would like to invite uh, uh, Shahabuddin, uh, David Les, uh, to say some words before we will close. Shahabuddin, it's yours. Thank you. Uh, forgive me for coming late, but I was on a, another program that I only do once a year, and it just couldn't be helped. Okay. Um, I, I don't know if this has been mentioned repeatedly, but I just, in closing, hope that we could just take a moment and remember and feel the extent of the suffering in Turkey and in Syria right now. Um, we have Sufi friends there who are on the ground working in the midst of that tragedy. And um, I know they'll feel our prayers too. So just for one minute, if we can just take that one minute and just pray. Holy Mother, Holy Father, feel the, we know you feel the suffering and we all do because we are all connected. Help those who are in the midst of deep tragedy. Connect them with the little spark of hope that ever exists in the heart. Help them to release the trauma and the grief at the right time. And help all of us to remember how fortunate we are, how blessed we are, and still that we are all one human family, one being. And we live and move and have our being in each other. Help them, protect them. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Shahuddin. Thank you so much. And uh, really, thank you. Thank Sheikh Hassan that he just mentioned that. Really, we are Abrahamic region in a very great connection with the Turks and the Syrian people. And, uh, you know, Sheikh Zahar Badarani is not so far from us next to Miami. He's in, in connection with us all the time, inform us about many, many things happen there. And uh, uh, the assistant of the uh, foreign minister in Turkey, I'm in connection with him. He, he, he reported lots of things, you know, 41,000 people lost their lives there from both sides. And uh, lots of more injured and they suffering there. We'll pray to all of them. Thank you, Shahabuddin. Thank you so much for this deep uh, 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 notice and deep prayer that you did for these people, because as we say, they are part of the body of the human being. Yeah. And if they suffer or feel pain, all of the body need to feel pain, because as we say, the world is like a tire. It's surrounding. We don't know what will happen here, there. We need to pray for all of the world together to be complete. I would like to thank all of you today, Shahabuddin, to Tamar, Rabbi Tamar Ilad, to uh, 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 Pastor uh, Shukri uh, Mirzian, to Dr. Nahe Charari, to Sheikh Hassan Mufaktarif, to Hermione, to Zirkar, to Michael, to Ted Bronson, to Malcolm, our great translator, and to Chris Miller, that he's doing great things beyond the scene. 
in the unseen. We love you so much and really keep the taste of this prayer uh, with you until the next prayer and uh, in the next prayer as i say we 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 are not forget any prayer that we are did we did we digesting that prayer and it will be part uh, a great part in our storage within us for the future and for all of the world thank you see you next week love you so much salam alaikum shalom alaikum peace be upon you